Good morning, everyone. This is not the morning I was hoping for. I woke up. My battery's gonna die. I gotta charge it. I'm making my coffee. Short story is, I woke up. Buster had pooped in the middle of the night, and then this morning, like, diarrhea poop. Ugh. All before my coffee. I guess this is practice for when I finally become a mom. Poop everywhere, right? My camera charged a little bit and I have enjoyed my cup of joe. Today is day 15. I'm so excited, I'm halfway there. I could do this, I could do this. On Tuesday, it'll be officially two weeks left. Like it's these little milestones that get me through. Um, like I said, it's all very mental and you need to do all the things you can to get you through. Um, so, I have cleaned up all of Buster's poop. I've got to wash like everything that he's touched though because I think it got in his foot. So I need to wash all his cage bedding. He doesn't really sleep in his cage anymore, but when he's like knows he's done something bad, he puts himself in the cage and he must have thought he did something bad. And it was just an accident. I didn't want him to feel bad. I feel so bad that he's sad that he did this. But um, I've got to wash that. Um, I gotta wash all the blankets we keep on the couch, give the couch a good vacuuming. We've got a lot of cleaning to do today. Um, if you didn't watch my last video, I have off this week, so I'm super excited. Um, I'm trying to keep it very low key, not like the last week I had off where I did something crazy every single day, almost. Um, so far, I just have going to visit my friend Danielle on Thursday, and we're gonna celebrate my birthday with my family on Friday. Well, I am, Rob has work. Um, so I'm gonna do that, and then my birthday weekend! Yay, 33! I don't want to be 33. <laughs> I just hate the, I hate odd numbers. So I'd rather just skip to 34, you know? <laughs> um, but anyway, I'm gonna make some breakfast. I'm gonna put some sweet potatoes in the air fryer, make some eggs, some veggies, the normal Whole30 breakfast. My air fryer preheating and then I'm gonna pop these in. I think I did it at my dad's at 350 for 20 minutes. Um, I just drizzled it with a little avocado oil and then the salt, pepper, garlic. Um, I, I go through garlic like it's nobody's business. <laughs> I already need to add another jar to my list. So good thing I'm gonna go to Trader Joe's today. So while these cook, I think I'm gonna pour myself another cup of joe. All right guys, here's my breakfast. And I have enough sweet potatoes that I made, enough for extras for tomorrow, which is great. I'm just planning my day out. I've got this long to-do list of things. Um, so yeah, I gotta get eating and get busy because it's already 10 o'clock. I'm cleaning and um, I'm gonna spray my favorite Febreze alternative now. This stuff is amazing and this is all natural stuff. Um, I'll have a link down below if you guys want $10 off. I got two bottles for 20 bucks so you can get $2, $2, two bottles for 10. Um, I have this flavor and the lavender one and I love them both equally. I'm obsessed. I will also spray Buster's like disgusting bed. He needs a new one um, Just because it smells very dog like and I don't feel concerned about spraying this because it doesn't have any chemicals and You know, it's probably very dog friendly Hopefully All right, guys, so I am out of the house. I got a lot of I need to clean out my purse it's so bad I've got like old lists out the wazoo that I can never find like my current list. I just wanted to add something to this um I'm gonna have to run a Trader Show Joe's and Stop and Shop just because Trader Joe's doesn't have hamburger buns that Rob likes. He only likes like the potato rolls. Like I really wish I can get him to eat better like me. I stopped buying a lot of his like snacks and just like getting more fruit. Um, even though he like goes through fruit, like it's gonna go bad in a day. Well, here he is. What are you doing? I'm going to the grocery store and to the gym. Love you. Um, what was I saying? I don't know. Oh, getting to eat better. So he's eating more fruit, but um, he's eating it all. So hamburger buns. Okay. So first at the gym, I need to go to the bank. Um, and then Trader Joe's and Stop and Shop for 11.55. I got, did I say this? I swear to God my brain is like a dump. I got a lot of cleaning done. I'm washing um, like stuff that I don't usually wash on the regular, like towels, which I know you should. Um, my sheets, I always, I try to wash the blankets on the couch very often because Buster stinks. 
I love dogs, I do, but my next dog, I really want to be like one of those dogs that don't shed. The ones with like hair instead of fur. I don't know. I love him to death, but the hair is everywhere. Um, what else? So I've vacuumed really good the couch and sprayed it with that stuff, which I'm obsessed with. So definitely check it out if you're looking for a more natural, like Febreze situation. I've tried to put my ring on, I feel nude. What else, guys? I really would like to get a car wash, but maybe I'll do that like tomorrow. Um, so yeah, let's go work out, get my grocery shopping done, and some of my errands done. I love that feeling after the gym. I just love it. Okay, I should have peed before I left. One thing I hate about going to Trader Joe's during my Whole30 is you can't have their little samples that they give out. It's usually some kind of delicious cheese. <laughs> But I could do it. I thought of a few things I need to add to my list while I was ellipticaling. Okay. Uh, broccoli slaw. I'm gonna do burgers for dinner tonight. Um, that means I need a big tomato. Another red onion. Um, I'm gonna make fries in the air fryer, like make them look like fries. So I need a russet potato. Potato. There were some, oh, dried cherries. Anything else? I don't think so. Hmm. I wanna get salmon too, so I do that in the air fryer. <laughs> Everything is better in the air fryer, guys. If you don't have one yet, I highly recommend it. All right, it's only one o'clock. I got a lot accomplished so far today. I'm really proud of myself. All right, I will show you guys what I pick up at Trader Joe's. All right, guys, this is what I grabbed at the store. These few things is what I got at um, Stop and Chop. Got potato rolls, flour tortillas, Spanish rice, and Ziploc bags. I also grabbed um, this polar seltzer that I'm obsessed with, the watermelon lemonade. I grabbed a watermelon at Trader Joe's. Um, I got blueberries, strawberries. I'm so sad they didn't have any organic strawberries. And strawberries is one of the things that you should absolutely always buy organic. But Rob was asking for strawberries, so one week's not going to kill us. Um, we've got some potatoes. These are for Rob. I don't eat these. I do when I'm not in Whole30. These are my favorite fries, but he absolutely is obsessed with these. I got some more peaches. I got some more plums. I got some more of the um, unsweetened dark sweet cherries that I'm obsessed with to put in my broccoli slaw. I got Rob his yogurt. I got some more bananas. Oh, I found these at Trader Joe's. I'm super excited. I haven't had this flavor yet. I usually don't buy the beef chumps, but um, I couldn't not try this. Come on, focus. Hop in jalapeno. I stinking can't wait to eat that. I got a yellow onion, a red onion, a tomato, some olives, some ghee, coconut aminos, russet potatoes, Rob's baked beans for dinner tonight. I got another bag of cauliflower gnocchi. Again, if you are just starting the Whole30, I don't really recommend having this. I'm, uh, It's like a gray area whether or not these are compliant, but because this is not my first round, I'm eating them. Again, if you're the Whole30 police, I don't want to hear it. It's my choice. Um, and a piece of salmon to have one day this week. So that's everything I got. I need to make myself some lunch. I'm starving. Um, as you can see, I did not do the dishes yet. I think I might do cauliflower gnocchi and chicken sausage in the air fryer for lunch. So I can have that for lunch tomorrow. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But I am going to try one of these right now. Maybe I'll make some hard boiled eggs in the Instapot and make like egg salad. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I've never had the beef one ever, so this is the first time. Oh my god this is delicious if you could find if you like spicy very spicy oh my gosh if you could find the hop and jalapeno i highly highly recommend it i want to share with you this awesome planner that i got in the mail from the company life and apples this is a wellness planner um, and a daily motivation journal this planner is amazing i have not yet cracked into it but i um Ooh, this is cool. Look, the wellness planner. Join our community and get free tools for a healthy, ha for health. I can't read. For healthy, happy living. There's ebooks, printables, 
a 10% coupon for your next code for your next oh my gosh I'm gonna need coupon code for your next order this is so cool so the planner is like this there's like two sections I have the blue part um, by the months you could plan your month it's undated so that you could write in you could start it whenever you want um, and it's got this awesome section at the bottom here for goals affirmations um, things that you should do this month successful and it's like successes that you could write down here a little note section and it's got enough for the 12 months oh well six months right I think it's six months hold on one two yeah this is a six month planner because you have all these pages for daily things um, you've got a page every day that looks like this this is so awesome um, you write down something you're grateful for which is something that you should be doing every single day anyway when you're writing down what you're grateful for it gives you less reason to like worry and be anxious because you're thinking about what you're grateful for I learned that from Rachel Hollis if you're feeling anxious start thinking of the things that you're grateful for because it just keeps you positive and then write a positive thought here your fitness activities and opportunities to keep active. This is awesome. Your goals to help you keep active, like take a walk at lunch, get to the gym in the morning, take the dog for an extra walk, just like simple things like that. And here's some notes that you could write down, like things that you need to get done. Oh my gosh, I love this part at the bottom here. They, they're little checks for you to like get out in the sun, drink your water, get your nutrients, have fun and sleep well. And then over here you can meal plan for the day. You've got your breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. And then you could like go over your day, like rate it how well you did, what you could do differently, what might be improved for tomorrow. I am loving this planner. I got it before I went away and I completely forgot about it. Um, so I need to get back into doing this. Oh my gosh, I gotta throw this in my bag. And then so you get like a weekly review at the end here. You could write down what were your successes for the week, what you need to improve, what have you learned about this week that you might be able to apply for next week. You have a little habit tracker here. This is so fun. This little section, notes, and you got that one for every single week. Let's see. Oh, and it came with cute little stickers too and little note pages at the end here. You could write down notes, take notes on things, and look at these cute little stickers that you get in the back for the planner. I love this. Ooh, and it has a little pocket. Look at this pocket. Just fold that up and stick that in there. If you guys are interested in this planner, I will leave it linked down below. I'm going to start writing in it as we speak because I'm so excited for it. Let's take that off. It's this nice leather bounding. Look how nice. This is such a nice planner. And this elastic strap and you've got a place here for a pen oh this is definitely going in my bet work bag when I start school because I always have like a planner and stuff in my bag oh I didn't see the front here it helps you with making your short-term goals daily motivations this is so cool promise to yourself gosh making a promise to yourself that's serious <laughs> I don't even know what I need to promise myself and then you get right in here where's my blue oh these are your goals in the beginning all right so I'm gonna start right here and I'm gonna get my day going because this is just an awesome cute little planner like I said I will have a link down below for you guys if you are interested in this planner all right, guys here's my random lunch I've got two eggs with a little bit of the Primal Kitchen Chipotle Lime Mayo dressing. And then I've got a half of avocado cut up with some tomato and some olives. I am so hungry now because it's about three o'clock. So I'm gonna scarf this down and take a shower. I'm gonna make myself a little coffee here. Can I do this one handed? I can never, no. There we go. Um, so you guys know I love this stuff. This is the cold brew concentrate from Trader Joe's. You just add a little coffee and then we're gonna top it off with some water. Does anybody else get super happy when like they know their fridge is just full of like everything you need for the week? That feeling makes me so happy. Oh, my friend's calling.
quickly because I've been dying for her call all day. I'm just gonna add a little caramel and a little chocolate nut pods because I don't want to use my cinnamon up and call it a day. All right, guys, it is dinner time. So I'm just, I've just drizzled my fries with a little avocado oil and I'm gonna season them with salt, pepper, garlic. My bowl's a little small because <laughs> all my other bowls are like being used for other things. Um, and I've got Rob's burgers here. I'm gonna have the um, Applegate Farm turkey burger. My freezer's a mess, don't judge me. Um, so I'm gonna have one of these. And I also have some bacon in the oven to have like bacon on top. And yeah, and then I'm gonna make my broccoli slaw. I know that I said in like another video I'd show you like how I make it. In this video I'll show you guys like step by step how I make the broccoli slaw. Cause it is based off of another recipe. Um, I just do it my own way as I usually do most recipes. So yeah, I'm gonna get these going. So this is how I start the broccoli slaw. I start with a little of the chipotle lime primal kitchen mayo at the bottom. It's hard to do this one handed. And then I just add about a splash. I don't have measurements. I really need to work on my one handed muscles. <laughs> There we go. So then I'll do just like a splash of this. You can probably call it like a tablespoon, maybe more. And then I'm just gonna season it with a little garlic. You could add whatever seasonings you want. This would also make like a really great dressing on a salad. Um, I'm gonna whip this up with my other, like with one hand on the bowl and being able to do this better. And then I'm gonna chop up some of the cherries and I'm gonna show you guys like as I actually like build the salad. I know last time I said I would do that and I didn't. Okay, so I've got it all mixed up good. I'm gonna add my bag of broccoli slaw. I have just a bunch of these dark sweet cherries from Trader Joe's chopped up. This is like the simplest, most delicious Whole30 recipe ever. And then I'm gonna add in a few sliced almonds. Can I do this one-handed? Can I do anything one-handed today? Yes, I can. Ooh. Just gonna throw in a handful of this. Um, you guys, I'm sure you've noticed, I have not been telling you like the points because I have not been tracking. Um, I've just not been in the mood. I think that's why I love eating this way most of all because you don't really have to track unless like you find yourself going out of control. Um, maybe I'll do one more day. Maybe I'll do like one day a week just so you guys can see the points. Uh, I just didn't do it at all today, so please forgive me. So then you just mix it all together and it's the best broccoli slaw in the entire land. You could probably make, there's probably so many different variations of this online. Um, I'm probably gonna season it with a little salt and pepper. And yeah, it's the easiest veggie you could do. My fries are going at 400. I had them in here 15 minutes. My burgers are on the grill. I'm gonna get Rob's baked beans in there for him. He loves these from Trader Joe's. I never look at the ingredients. It's pretty clean if like you want a clean baked bean minus the sugar um, or if you eat beans. Pretty clean ingredients, so not a bad baked bean. I know that there's a lot out there with awful ingredients, but yeah, I will show you guys dinner when it's all done. Here is my dinner. I've got bacon on my burger. I've got tomato and onions. I've got avocado, my fries, and my broccoli slaw. I'm gonna add a little salt and pepper to the avocado, of course. All right, guys, I'm gonna end today's video. I wanna end it with just giving you like a little recap of how my first half of my Whole30 went. I said I would do that in a separate video. I didn't feel like filming a separate video. So if it's the first time you're doing your Whole30, even now, I haven't done a Whole30 in over a year. It's hard. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it looks easy seeing what I'm eating and I, I try to express the days that are hard and I try to get it all out, but it's just, when you're used to certain things, coffee, for example, <laughs> it it's quite hard to like go from like having delicious coffee to bad coffee, I, I don't know. The food part for me isn't that bad. It's the snacking on the old crap that I used to snack on is what gets me, I always had like usually healthy meals it's the snacking that always got me and i'm learning a lot about myself and snacking and i'm learning a lot that i have a lot more self-control 
than I thought I did. Don't forget, my first Whole30 was almost two years ago. That's a long time. A lot has changed. A lot has gone on. Um, and then the second Whole30 that I completed was right after my honeymoon. So it was all within like the same year-ish. I don't know. This one has been... A, I've learned a lot about myself. Maybe because I've grown up. Maybe because of all of the IVF stuff I'm going through. I just feel like I'm learning a lot about myself. Um... So if you're going to be doing, there's, September is a big month for Whole30. Um, if you have any questions, if you're thinking of doing a September Whole30, please ask me any questions that you have. I recommend a Whole30 to anybody. It changes the way you think about food, changes how you look at labels. I've kind of gotten even more strict about like my organic food and all of these things. If you want like more info on like why ingredients are bad and just a lot of knowledge follow the Instagram account just dot ingredients and Flav City I know I've mentioned him a hundred thousand times but the way that he explains why stuff is so bad it's just it's eye-opening like and same thing with um, the account just dot ingredients what is her first name Carolyn 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 I'm obsessed with her she breaks down like if you just want to know like the best energy drinks like these are all garbage don't drink them get these like just the way her posts are she's going through she's explaining like good snacks for your kids and like why organic means so much now as opposed to like why it didn't like back in the 70s like it's just the whole food industry has changed and you don't want to be filling your kids with crap that kills like their gut health and the way their brains develop and it's just I've gotten <laughs> kind of gotten out of control with everything and I know that nobody is perfect and sometimes you just want a bag of Doritos sometimes you just want something bad which is totally fine I feel like 20% of the time it's okay you guys if you've been following me for a while you know that I've always believed in like 80 20 but just follow, educate yourselves you know what I mean do a whole 30 it just changes the way that you think about food the way you read labels the way that you learn to create a plate to keep you full I don't even remember where this rant is going. Just, if you're thinking of doing one, dive in. It's hard, but push yourself. I'm already at day 15. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. When you break it, break it down into like weeks. So it's like four weeks. Like, you can get through anything in four weeks. You can get through anything in a month. Just, I highly recommend you doing it if you're thinking about it. September is an amazing time to do it. There are so many people out there doing it too. September and January are the biggest months for Whole30 because, um... You know, after summer, everybody indulges a lot in the summer. You want to reset. Everybody wants to reset in January. So if you're thinking about doing it, the September was the first month I ever did one. And I found so many Instagram accounts. I found so many recipes. It's just a great time to do one. Um, so again, if you have any questions, leave them down below. If I get enough, I'll do a whole Q&A. If not, I'll just answer them as you write them. Because I'm a big advocate for all of this. All right. <laughs> I'm going to go off my rant go to bed I need to wash my face um go to bed wake up do a whole another day tomorrow day 16 if you have not yet subscribed to my channel don't forget to do so I'd really like to get to 9,000 soon I'm almost there so don't forget to subscribe give this video a thumbs up if you liked it I will see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>